Hello everyone, Dolphin Oracle here again today, and I've booted my computer here off of a MX-15 Live USB made with UNET bootin'. Booted my computer in legacy mode, and I have the, the, the boot screen here that we've all come to know and love. It's not Grub, it's Sys Linux on the Live USB in legacy mode, just so you know. Uh, a lot of people call it the Grub menu, and this tends to cause some minor bout of confusion. Uh, however, it, it's a standard uh, boot menu. You can check out my MX-14 videos or my Annex videos about the boot screen. I've described it before. You, you've got various options in that at the bottom accessible from function keys. And the one I'm interested in today is persistence. I want to show you how, to, how easy it is to set up persistence on MX-15. Now, my stick here is, may, is uh, formatted with ext4. Doesn't have to be. You can do it with, with a FAT32 stick. I will warn you, if, if you do use a FAT32 stick, persistence file creation can take a very long time. So I'm going to hit F5 and show you the persistence options. They're slightly different than previous versions of MX. Uh, and Annex for that matter. Uh, you can have persistence off in case you've enabled persistence in the past and you don't want to boot with it. It's fine. You can just turn it off. Uh, you can have all persist which saves both root and home folders. You can have this root persist actually loads the root persistence file into RAM. If you got enough RAM, no harm to it. Uh, it's pretty pretty handy. Uh, that's probably the one I'm going to pick one up for this video. Static root does the same thing as 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 regular root, except it uh, puts the root file system on the it mounts it from the USB stick, so it doesn't um, it doesn't load it into RAM. That works pretty well on even older machines. Uh, and you get the same options for home. Uh, for if you just just want a home uh, persistence file, you can for your home folder. Uh, you can do that as well. Uh, then you get the same the frugal options for frugal installs. I'm going to choose all persist. This is the kind of the de facto default, um, and we'll see. Uh, I'll show you how easy it is to set up the persistence the persistence files. Uh, okay, I've selected the option. I'm going to select the top boot option, and here we go. And you see some cheat code stuff. And here it's going to say, "Begin to create root fs persistence file." Okay, uh, by default the scripts now try to size. You're going to get weird sizes because it tries to size things based on a percentage of free state space on the USB stick. I will take the default size for this, uh, for the purposes of this video. It's going to create very quickly on an ext4 file system. It's not going to create very quickly on a FAT32, but you will see some little dots going across the screen tell you what's going on. So I'm just going to hit, uh, hit 1 for create automatically. You can choose your own custom size if you wish. And it's going to do its thing. Now it's not going to take very long to create a 2 gig persistence file. Like I said, on ext4 system, very fast. Okay, so home file system. I want to create a home file system. It's giving me some weird size. I want to show you the custom menu this time. It's the same as on the root fs. And you get to choose an option. I'm going to go with a with a 2 gig. This is a 16 gig uh, USB stick, so I'm going to go with a 2 gig, uh, a 2 gig home folder just for fun. Let's see. Do, do, do. Yes, 8. 2 gigs. Close enough. It's doing its thing, creating the partition. Actually, not a partition, creating the file. And then the boot continues. And we are in, we're already in persistence. Uh, it's one step. You don't have to boot, make it, reboot, and all that stuff. So, But it is going to tell you to change your passwords. So we're going to put in a new password here. That's not going to show up on the screen, so don't panic. Um, that would be a Linux convention. And now I need to change the demo account password. That's the default password on the live USB. So I'm going to change that as well. And now it asks, how do you want... Uh, please select the save mode for root persistence. Now this option is only valid if you're using the default root persistence. If you use static, it, it's this it's mounted all the time it doesn't matter uh if you slow it into ram then what happens is it runs an rsync routine occasionally or actually at logout to sync the root fs file that's in ram to that on your usb stick you don't need to understand the technical uh uh gobbledygook to uh get the idea that we're going to choose how and when this thing saves so you have automatic you can save on shutdown or reboot automatically it doesn't ask it just does it you can boot on, uh, shut down or 
So you got automatic, you can shut down, you can save on shutdown and reboot automatically, it doesn't ask. You got semi automatic, where it'll ask. This is actually handier than you think. Uh, uh, if you make changes that you don't want, <laughs> you just don't save the save file. Manual, it only saves the changes when you tell it to, and there's a warning, you snooze, you lose. And quit, you just you use whatever's the default. I'm going to go with semi-auto for now. And now after that, it's going to do its thing and go into the default screen. And there's our desktop. Thank you very much. Uh, and when we do a logout, it's going to ask to sync the file system. Yes, shall we begin? Yes. And it's going to check if there's enough room. It's going to give you some stats that you can read. You can say yes. And it does the R sync. It syncs up. It says, "Lo, we've synced up 9 megabytes. And you got plenty of space left on the root drive. You're done. You're okay. You shut down. And you're done. That's how easy it is to set up persistence on MX15. Now on your reboot, you just go through and select persistence and the persistence files will be picked up automatically. For tips, tricks, how-tos, head over to mepiscommunity.org or throw up a post at forum.mepiscommunity.org. This is Dolphin Oracle signing off. Have a great day.